Tesla's zero-emission electric vehicles are part of the company's effort to improve and make the Earth more livable. However, it has also been asserted that they are not progressing as quickly as they should, partly because they do not have enough factories to build the desired number of automobiles. The ideal solution would be to purchase a business with factories spread out across various locations. Welcome back to another exciting video from Informative Scoop. Today's video is about Elon Musk, I will buy GM. Before we start the video, please like, subscribe, and press the bell icon. And if such businesses exist, GM Motors is one of them. GM has long been one of the largest automakers, but since the advent of electric cars, they haven't been able to catch up. The possibility of Elon Musk's ambitions to acquire the business is undeniable, but will he follow through? Stay tuned for the resolution. Considering that Musk and GM have been conflicted for a long, it might surprise you. You might purchase GM to make a message, and Musk is known for his ability to surprise people. Some of the plants General Motors has said it was interested in buying could be of interest to Tesla. According to Elon Musk's most recent remarks, it intends to shut down. Musk commented during an interview with CBS's 60 Minutes as part of a more considerable reorganization effort. General Motors announced that five North American plants, including one in Ontario, would be shut down. The company's Ontario plant was predicted to result in the loss of 2,500 employees in 2019. In a video that CBS posted online before the interview aired, Musk was asked if he would like to buy some of those GM plants, if they were to sell a facility or stop operating it. Musk responded that it's possible that we would be interested in taking it over. Musk stated that he agrees with the rival automaker's choice to increase its investment in electric vehicle technology in the same interview with Leslie Stahl. He asserted that Tesla's sole goal was to speed the creation of electric cars and other environmentally beneficial modes of transportation. We desire to safeguard the environment. We believe it to be the most critical problem that humanity is now confronting. The Lordstown facility was supposed to shut down in the first quarter of 2019 after more than 50 years of operation. The closure was a part of a larger GM strategy that also saw Lordstown's Chevy Cruze plant shut down and more than 14,000 people let go in North America over the coming months. Concerns over GM's plans to dismantle many factories and remove 14,000 jobs were expressed by legislators, labor activists, and localities. According to sources, GM's choice was critical for the company's future as it competed with rivals like Tesla, sophisticated technology, and changing consumer tastes due to the potential site closure. Tesla was now in a position to act. In 2010, when a former GM factory in California was forced to close due to the recession, Musk pounced and bought the Fremont property for $42 million. This would not be Tesla's first takeover of a GM factory. Not long after making intentions to purchase Twitter, he made plans to buy GM. It's startling that he could be seeking to acquire something else right now because we all know how it panned out. But if GM were on the market, we can be sure that Musk would be tempted to acquire it, even if it were merely to take retaliatory action against GM. Automakers, he had troubles with GM and many of their high-ranking employees for 2021. Even though both businesses manufacture cars, their organizational structures and goals differ. The most notable difference is that, unlike GM, Tesla does not allow unionization. Although Musk has many good arguments against unionization, we don't support him in this choice. Joe Biden, the president, has frequently argued against recognizing Tesla as an EV manufacturer. As opposed to that, he has complimented General Motors and CEO Mary Barra for their efforts on EVs and positioned them as the group guiding America toward an EV-dominant world. Musk, incensed by these comments, didn't take this very well. Tesla shipped 1 million electric automobiles in 2020. GM had to suspend manufacture of the Chevy Bolt and Chevy Bolt. EUV, because it sold fewer than 25,000 units. The storied firm currently makes alternative cars because of safety concerns, such as the Cadillac Lyric and the GMC Hummer EV, an electric variant of the well-known Hummer pickup. So GM's financial results ought to improve in 2022. Although GM recently started making the Bolt again, Tesla, which recently established two new plants in Austin, Texas, and outside Berlin, Germany, will be far ahead of the Detroit giant by 2022. More than 1.5 million automobiles are expected to be delivered, according to Musk. And even though there are supply chain issues in the Shanghai facility's extended closure, they're likely to outperform expectations with their current production rates. Fans of Tesla and Musk regularly point out the distinctions between the two businesses because they can never understand why Biden gave GM and Barra the praises they feel should have gone to Tesla and Musk. While disregarding Musk and Tesla, President Joe Biden complimented the cars of GM and other giants in the sector, and Musk still hasn't accepted this. According to his most recent assaults on GM and, indirectly, the president, Musk currently has more than 60% market share in the United States. It sells more electric vehicles than any other company. The CEO of General Motors, however, accepted a bold challenge. She recently sent an email to Elon Musk stating that her business would sell the most electric automobiles in the US by 2020. With such a significant margin, it doesn't seem realistic that Tesla will be passed anytime soon. 
Barrow was asked if she thought GM could catch up to Tesla by the middle of the decade in an interview with CNBC in October 2021. She said that there was no doubt GM would surpass Tesla. Tesla does not distinguish between its global and US sales. However, Cox Automotive claims that in 2021, it sold 352,471 automobiles to American motorists. The Chevrolet brand has outperformed this by almost 14 times. The forecast aligns with General Motors' broad objective to sell solely zero-emission vehicles by 2035. It plans to introduce 30 new battery-powered models by 2025, spending $35 billion on electric and autonomous vehicles. The four battery projects that the business has planned for the US. A GM spokesperson said the company would increase its ability to produce 1 million electric vehicles in North America by the end of 2025 and an extra 1 million in China. Before 2020, many more EV initiatives, according to them, will begin. GM wants to outperform Tesla by offering high-range electric cars at competitive prices. By removing all negative aspects and issues associated with EV ownership and charging, GM intends to dethrone Tesla as the unchallenged leader in EV technology. As electric vehicles become more advanced and commonplace, the infrastructure for charging at home and in public must keep up. GM's TM Charge 360 contains specialized Altium fast chargers, allowing consumers to find and utilize public chargers. Tesla provides a wide range of energy solutions, from the power wall to a complete roof covered in solar panels, to address the problems with public EV charging networks. To compete with Tesla and provide OTM customers with more energy consumption options, it will keep the lights on during power outages or peak energy demand. GM announced the launch of GM Energy, an initiative for energy solutions. A new statement states that GM Energy is an entirely new subsidiary. This also applies to Ultium Charge 360. The projects, including Odium Home and Ultium Co., are designed to give LTM owners the finest of power options. General Motors claims that GM Energy represents a brand new energy ecosystem rather than just a few innovative apps and residential batteries. To ensure that all of their future energy demands are met, customers need only contact GM. According to GM, the new LTM services will use solar panels that can be charged in both directions, hydrogen fuel cells, and various other renewable energy sources. A network of future customers' houses will become a secure haven for electric vehicles thanks to a partnership that General Motors has announced with the solar energy company SunPower. With that system, the 2024 Chevy Silverado EV will make its premiere. GM reportedly teamed up with energy companies around the country to expedite the process. According to Travis Hester, vice president of GM's EV growth operations, the goal of GM Energy is to give customers access to a wide range of energy goods and services, including alternatives to automobiles that will hasten the smooth transition to all electric vehicles. That's all for today. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content.